Hi, Katrina here from Katrina and Clayton building a food forest in Scotland. We have not been doing anything for the last few weeks because it has been pouring. Every single day, either in the morning, the afternoon or during the night, it has been raining. Everything has been so wet and damp. We just haven't been out here. So this is what it looks like after two weeks of not doing anything but that's nothing that a good stream and a good mow isn't gonna fix so let's take a look shall we so here we go this is our food forest area and our raised bed area at the bottom of our garden this is what it looks like after two weeks of not doing anything and it probably wasn't cut even two weeks ago maybe three or four weeks there's some very long grass growing there some of it's gone up to my waist in the food forest but what's great about growing in raised beds is you don't have to worry about that the grass can carry on doing its thing and everything still grows the food forest is a little bit different and does need to be looked after really it's just the paths that need to be looked after some of them i have some of them still need some attention the strawberry ground cover that has really grown has done fantastic and it's given us very minimal weeding that we need to do in these areas. So we'll be concentrating on adding more of our strawberries, we'll be cutting runners and moving them around. So next year we'll get a really, really good section of the strawberry ground cover across all of our four areas of the food for us. So this is you watching me doing the strimming and cutting all the grass. This had to be done two or three times going up and down on different levels to get that really wet grass cut. I went up and down the paths on a high level so that cut down some of the tall grass and I need to go in and actually pull them up from the roots. But that's given it a really clear section for us to look at for the next few weeks. This raised bed area is fantastic. We've got our strawberries in here, our red currants, black currants. Everything that we planted in here earlier this year has really flourished. We've got raspberries, we've got blueberries in here. And up the back of there, we have got our sweet peas growing up the back of one of the trellises and our bellotti beans growing up the other side and our cherry tree in the middle. So all of this has really grown well and we don't have to worry about any of the grass or anything interfering on our raised beds. Some of these raised beds aren't even filled because we just have not been out there. Under that cover there is our sweet corn, so they're growing great. There's our cherries in the bags. They are protected from the birds. Our sweet peas have done really well. And behind that, you've got Jerusalem artichoke growing in the raised beds. We've got our bellotti beans on the other side. And hopefully for the rest of the summer, we will have some more sun as well as the rain. So this area here can flourish as much as it needs to for the rest of the year.